What's going on guys, Medicine in 3 Minutes back here with another video and today we're going to be talking about Cushing Syndrome. We're going to get straight to the point, we're going to keep the subject clear, brief and illustrated. So let's get started. And just before we actually get into the video, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder uh, to always re uh, refer to the visuals when it comes to memorization. Uh, it's actually been scientifically proven that it is a great method uh, when it comes to learning and really helping your brain absorb uh, different things. Yeah, so make sure to always use the visuals in the videos. That's what they're there for, for you guys to memorize and to help you guys uh, learn faster. If you ever have an exam or a test or anything coming up, yeah, they're great tools uh, when it comes to memorization. So anyways, let's get into the video. So when you're dealing with Cushing syndrome, there's going to be two questions you want to ask. The first is, is it going to be Cushing syndrome? The second, once you found out that it is, is where is the localization? Now, to find out if a patient has Cushing syndrome, there's going to be two tests you want to do. The first is going to be at 12 a.m. and it is going to be a one milligram dexamethasone test. After that, at 8 a.m. the next morning, you're going to want to have a cortisol and ACTH blood test. Now to figure out if it's Cushing syndrome or not, uh, you're going to want to check the cortisol levels. If it is greater than 5 gra uh, grams per deciliter, uh, which is abnormal, then you are dealing with Cushing syndrome. If it is the normal levels of 5 grams per deciliter or less, then you are not dealing with Cushing syndrome. Now, you have found out that it is Cushing syndrome. Now you want to figure out the localization. Now, it can either be pituitary, ectopic, or adrenal. Those are the three possible locations. So to find out where it is, you're going to want to do an 8 milligram dexamethasone test, again at 12 a.m., and a cortisone ACTH blood test, again at 8 a.m. the next morning. Now, you're going to want to check the ACTH and the cortisol levels. If the ACTH level is high and the cortisol level is low, then you are most likely dealing with pituitary. If the ACTH is high and the cortisol is also high, then you are dealing with ectopic. And if, it, if the ACTH is low and the cortisol is high, then you are dealing with adrenal. So just a little overview of the entire video that we just went through. Uh, so if we are suspecting Cushing syndrome, there's going to be two questions you want to ask yourself. The first is, is it Cushing syndrome? To figure that out, we're going to carry out a 1 milligram dexamethasone test and a cortisol blood test at 8 a.m. A normal person's cortisol is going to be uh, smaller than 5 grams per deciliter. And if it is greater than 5 grams per deciliter, then you are dealing with Cushing syndrome. Now, you have figured out that it is Cushing syndrome. You're going to want to figure out where to localize it. Now, to do that, you're going to want to carry out an 8 milligram dexamethasone test. And once you do that, you're going to want to do a cortisone ACTH blood test at 8 a.m. again the next morning. Now, to differ differentiate uh, whether it's pituitary, adrenal, or ectopic, you're going to want to check whether the ACTH is high and the cortisol is low, then you are dealing with pituitary. Uh, if the ACTH is high and the cortisol is also high, then you are dealing with ectopic. And if the uh, ACTH is low while the cortisol is high, then you are dealing with adrenal. So, yeah. And just before we wrap things up, I just want to talk about uh, Butchered Gardens and Eden of the Pacific. It's actually a really amazing book. Uh, I found it on Amazon, Kindle, Kobo, and even a, their website called cdbooks.weebly.com. So yeah, definitely go check it out. It's a really amazing book. It talks about, um, you know, the beautiful scenery in British Columbia, more specifically Victoria, in these Butchered Gardens. Uh, there's some beautiful poetry that really, really uh, gives the scenery its worth. So definitely go check it out. Uh, it's on all platforms and it's available. I believe they're discounted right now, so definitely go check it out. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure to click the like button, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to comment down below if you have any suggestions, anything we missed, anything we can improve upon. Yeah, we love you guys' feedback. Uh, it's really what keeps us going, all those good comments. And yeah, we'll keep grinding. And I just want to apologize for not posting lately. I've just been traveling and I've had a lot of things to do, preparing for school, uh, and all different things like that. But yeah, I'll definitely be back on the grind. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.